What's going on, Dragon Ballers? More new cards today. Today we got the, or I guess yesterday, we got the mono black stuff for Boo. Now, I'll say it. I guess I was wrong. I told a few people, I said, hey, I wouldn't be surprised if this was like skillless and it worked with the red blue Boo stuff. So maybe pick up a few things. But as I said in that video, guys, it was an investment, risk, and reward. Just because this stuff did not take off with that red blue stuff doesn't mean you have to kill me. All right, guys, we're getting into this video. We got the new black stuff. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. If you want to help support the channel, lots of links down below, most notably the new Crosswell TCG merch store. That stuff looks dope. And finally, guys, we want to see you at the Dale Mac Tournament of Power. If you're super excited to play this Mono Black Boo deck, that should be the first event you play it at. It's going to be the biggest event of the year, I believe, in my team. And it's a big move for Dragon Ball Super. We're going to make it happen. Man, I love this uh, I love this reveal schedule because it just lets me talk about things like in such a in such a vacuum. And I get free videos out of it. It's a win-win situation. All right, guys. Bibbity. We've got auto. When this card attacks, draw one. And this card gets 5,000 power for duration of the turn. Bibbity's a strong boy. Bibbity's a, a strong boy. Awaken. When you have no cards in your hand, you may draw three. Choose two cards in your life. Add them to your hand. Then flip this card over. Okay. So what this means off the rip is that you have the ability to awaken turn one potentially. Because let's just say, you know, you go second. You charge your black energy. Ideally, you're going to charge something that you can't combo with. And then you're going to attack, draw a card, and you're going to combo with your whole hand as long as, you know, assuming there's no extra cards. But if you do that, you're going to combo with your entire hand, and then you're going to awaken turn one. That's a possible way to do it. Of course, you can draw 10Ks. You can draw extra cards like negates that won't allow that to happen. But sometimes you will be able to awaken turn one, and then you'll be able to get some draws back by drawing three and choosing two cards in your life, adding it to your hand. Because most likely, you know, if you go second and swing on your first turn, you're not going to have taken damage most likely. So... That's a pretty pretty cool strategy. Not going to be super consistent turn one every time, but just something you need to, to keep in mind. Majin Buu, one with nothingness. Auto, if you have no cards in your hand at the end of your turn, draw five cards. So this kind of reminds me of like green starter Broly BR in the sense that like you can refill your hand pretty easily. But I think these decks are going to be pretty different from the spoilers we've seen. But keep in mind the activate main here. Choose one card in your hand, place it in the drop area. Choose one of the following effects. You can either choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of three or less and place it under this card, which is actually really important, uh, just general removal. And this card, or you could choose this card gains uh, 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Notice this activate main is not once per turn. So you can literally just like remove an entire board of the opponents or you can just like gain a lot of attack points. And then you can dump your entire hand because you can pitch whatever you want, extra cards, 10Ks, whatever. And at the end of your turn, you're gonna refuel to five cards in hand. So that's pretty insane. This is gonna be, I think what a lot of people wanted Broly BR to be in the sense that you have a way to use your whole hand every single turn, no matter what, and then you can refuel. You draw a little bit less than Broly BR, but uh, I think this is gonna be a pretty strong archetype with the stuff we'll see in a second. Demonic Absorption, our typical extra card with 5K combo, and then activate main, if you leave the cards black, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier send it to the owner's warp so these black extra cards always have this upside of having no specified cost like cease to exist that card's crazy strong but it does have a, a two red specified cost this black card no specified cost so even in skillless you can use this no matter what color you're charging that's kind of neat getting rid of anything ignoring barrier and warping it that's really strong removal so i mean depending on format this could be a side deck staple maybe even a main deck staple in certain decks maybe a main deck maybe a main deck staple in boo since it's comboable you can always pitch it for your leader effect so that could be something to keep in mind deborah darkness perfected this card is so nuts three drop 15k permanent if all your energy is black reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand and drop area by one that's interesting i'm assuming there's gonna be a way to play it out of the drop area but i guess we'll see auto during your opponent's turn when you play this card choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it cannot attack or activate its skills for the duration of the turn Deborah's turning them into stone this is nuts this is so crazy because obviously it's it works in boo you're probably playing mono black but this is also really good for demigra and it's also really good for toa because those are other mono black decks and guys keep in mind we saw the hellfighter 17 the other day and that says when you play it choose a card and negate its skills this prevents skills from activating so they're very different in that way this is actually a cold bloodlust for black where that hellfighter 17 not really a cold bloodlust it doesn't stop any enter play effects this deborah seemingly will stop enter play effects 
it doesn't get around barrier so it does choose so you unfortunately you can't stop things like gogeta 7 but this card is still insane nonetheless i'm i'm a really big big fan of this card i think it's going to breathe new life into toa maybe not so much demigra because demigra is kind of full to the gas aggro but it could spawn some new demigra builds it could just be a card in demigra that allows you to play a little bit of a slower game but either way this is gonna be crazy for toa and it's probably gonna be really good in boo as well bobbity unrepentant sorcerer one drop 5k auto if all of your energy is black and you have two or more energy choose one card in your hand place it in your drop area when you play this card choose either a deborah a pui pui a yakan or majin buu in your drop area with energy cost of two or less and play it now note this does not care about what color the boo is but all of your energy has to be black to resolve those effects so you can't really do like old school old school boo evolve stuff with this because you do have to have that black energy and none of that stuff really evolves for like for free cost you need blue or red energy to evolve most of those things and then you can't play another one of this guy for the duration of the turn now in these spoilers we don't see any two drop boos or pui pui's or yakons we do see the deborah but if we go back to the set nine designer notes we see the two drop boo so there is more guys so if you read the two drop boo that 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 bobbity can summon from the drop area two drop 15k activate main if all your energy is black and you have no cards in your hand and you place this card in your drop area which is gonna have to be from the board choose one choose up to one black majin boo card with energy cost of three or four in your drop area and play it so you can basically trade this guy in for any three or four cost boo that's pretty cool or if you have three or more energy choose up to one black majin boo card with energy cost between three and six in your drop area and play it so with this guy you can make plays on turn two or if you have three or three or more energy you can make stronger plays as we'll see with the rest of the spoilers so going back to the spoiler page next up we've got bibbity prime primeval 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 i don't know conjurer uh super combo it's a zero three k super combo this is weird but the auto is crazy if all your energy is black when you combo with this card from your hand this card gets plus 1000 power for the uh, combo power for the duration of the turn for each card in your drop area and warp so one thing with boo real quick it doesn't seem like you can play too much over them because it does require you to have cards in your drop area for things like the bobbity and the rest of the boo chain that we'll see but you could always play uh, gravy since you don't really care about how many cards you have in hand and gravy can refill your drop area for those combos so maybe you can splash over them in there but this card is super cool because it keeps in mind it it works for how many you have in your drop area and your warp so it doesn't matter if you're playing like Toa or Demigra where you're just warping all the time, or if you're playing Boo and maybe you're not supposed to overwhelm as much, but this card still works either way. Now, just a few pros and cons. Obviously this thing gets to some insane power levels. If you mill 10 cards or have 10 cards in your warp or a combination of either, this is gonna be a 13,000 combo, super combo. That's pretty nuts. And obviously in mill decks, you can get much more than 20 cards very, very quickly. But uh, the thing is, you know, if you trade that in for your other typical super combo, you're losing out on draws. So I think for Boo, it probably won't matter. This will probably be a really good super combo in Boo because, again, you really don't care about how many cards you uh, you have in hand because you'll just refuel at the end of the turn. But something like Demigras, something like Toa especially, where Toa doesn't draw too much unless you get the regulator engine going, you might still want that draw super combo. You're going to have to really decide whether or not. You could even go 2-2 two -two split. I mean, who, who knows? It depends on how the format kind of shapes up. So here we go with the Boo chain majin boo unparalleled absorption we have a five drop double striker permanent this card cannot be played from any area if you have two or less energy so kind of preventing it from coming out too cheap auto when you play this card you can't play majin boo the same card for the duration of the turn activate main if you have no cards in hand which the leader allows you to do very easily choose up to one black majin boo card in your drop area with energy cost between three and six and play it on top of this card so we'll kind of keep going through the chain here majin boo hybrid absorption this is a five drop so you can play it off that unparalleled fusion critical permanent can't be played if you have two or less energy you can't play another one for the duration of the turn activate main if you have no cards in hand choose a black majin boo in your drop area between three and six and play it on top of this card so those two cards the the each of these five drops can play each other just uh keep that in mind they can play each other from the drop area but once you play one you can't play the other one for the duration of the turn Majin Buu Steadfast Absorption. This is a four drop dual attacker. So this is Piccolo Absorbed. You can't play it for the duration of the turn after you play it. Activate main if you have no cards in hand. Choose up to one black Majin Buu in your drop area with energy cost between three and six and play it on top of this card. So this one notice does not have the restriction of two energy. So you can go into this two drop Buu we just read a little a few minutes ago 
if you're on two energy you can go into this four drop or if you're on three or more energy you can go into either of these five drops and that seems to be all the reveals we have for the boo chain here but one one more thing i want to read from the design notes majin boo supreme evil so keep in mind this two drop is an sr and this six drops an sr let's give this one a quick read uh, and again you can go into this off that same boo chain we just read because it is a six cost permanent this card can't be removed from your battle area by your opponent's skills permanent when this card is in rest mode your opponent cannot use non-leader skills to add cards from the deck to their hand so a little bit of a floodgate-esque effect your battle cards won't draw your extra cards won't draw activate battle pay three this card gets plus ten thousand power and triple strike for the duration of the turn pretty cheap triple striker that's some pretty strong game ending power and the fact that you can't remove this by with skills you can battle it but they can i guess defensively give it 10k with its own effect that's kind of uh it's kind of low value because it's defensively and not offensively you're losing the triple strike but obviously they can defend it with super combos defend it with negates things like that but a uh, pretty cool floodgate effect and if you go into this chain without using energy meaning if you go into basically the two drop and this on turn two and then on turn three you start doing all this other stuff for free then you can at the end of your chain go into this majin Buu, and then you can swing tap the three for the triple strike you'll be tapped out but it still seems like a pretty strong play this one also doesn't seem to require you to have no hand too so you can uh you can do some pretty neat things with this it also doesn't seem to be locked into any type of leader so this will be pretty good in draft as a win condition it seems like but guys that's the boost stuff we've seen so far i think we're getting the rest of the stuff this week i don't know for a fact though let me know in the comments below what you guys think thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time